Hey friends, it's Fran here, your Bigger Life Coach. I have been on and on for weeks now about burnout. It's a big one. It's a big, hairy topic with lots of complexities to it and lots of ways that we keep ourselves stuck in this cycle of overdoing, overgiving, overcommitting, burning out, crashing, burning, recovering, and then starting it all over again. It's self-destructive, it's uh, extremely common, and something I want to keep shedding light on. So I'm continuing this series until I run out of ideas. I don't know when that will be. Anyways, if this is you and you know you need a little chat about this, some insight into your own story, just message me below and uh, we can connect up. And if you can stick around, I have some thoughts about this idea of not having a choice. So many of us have situations come up where we keep thinking, I can't, I can't, I don't have the money, I don't have the time, I don't have the energy, I can't because this, I can't because that. And so we just kind of constrict and get small around things and feel like, a victim. We don't have a choice. And that is one of the more toxic spots to end up. It's one thing to know that you aren't able to do something just at the moment, that it might be not now. That yeah, I need some time to gather the resources to create the space for something to happen. Certainly, um, I've learned over the last few years that yeah, there's a lot of things I absolutely want to do really want to do and the time isn't now it isn't you know there's a whole bunch of reasons we're living with that with COVID right here and right now there's <laughs> nobody's going anywhere right on planes or trains or automobiles maybe not very far anyway so but there's a place of being able to soften around it instead of getting angry and let, using that energy in a negative way to say not now not now I can't participate in that program today, but maybe in three months from now, I'll have the resources, I'll have the space in my calendar because I'm gonna arrange my life for that to happen. Because I'll make some choices to support wrapping up this piece so I can jump onto that piece. I'm gonna get caught up in these bills and set aside um, the next available income piece for that. I'm gonna look into new sources of revenue I'm going to see if there's support. I'm going to ask for help. There's so many ways to come at a situation and say, I do have a choice. I can find a way. There's always a way. I was running into this with my son not long ago with something he really wanted to spend some money on and he didn't have the money. I said, well, let's talk about how you're going to make it happen. And so then he came up with uh, a, a series of ideas, neighbors he could reach out to, to babysit, to snow shovel, to do the various tasks that could earn him income. And he, so we never said, no, you can't do this. It's like, how are you gonna make it happen? So I'm inviting you to think about that too. It's like when you find yourself in burnout and you're frustrated and you feel like, I can't make this change, I can't do this, I can't do that, because of some external condition, what if you back up a little bit, get a higher vision, get above the problem, and look at it from different perspectives and say, well, what if the question is, how can I make this happen? How can I have this experience I'm wanting to have? This, how can I create it? And the divine will meet you. The divine will meet you if you change your question. How can I make it happen? So I invite you to start asking that instead of saying, I can't, I can't have it. It's a whole different framework. It can actually open up a lot of space inside you, inside your mind, your heart, and absolutely your body. So if you want some more support with this, I do 30 minute free consultations. I'm happy to connect with you. Just message me below, click on the link and book a time, or simply send me a message. I look forward to talking to you um, really soon, I hope. And in the meantime, how can you make it happen?
I'll talk to you soon. Bye.